What's going on, everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kieran. Today, I'm going to be doing a Sagittarius reading, okay? So, I'm new to doing astrology readings. I'm new to doing Sagittarius specifically as well. I usually do twin flame readings, guidance readings, as well as other kinds of videos about spiritual topics. So, this is going to be the only time that I really do some sort of intro up, uh, you know, sort of up to date, let you guys know how this works kind of thing. So, the way this is going to work, guys, is I pull three cards for your energy three cards for your love life and i will read that accordingly it doesn't matter if you're single in a relationship getting some strange on the side behind a dumpster it doesn't matter i'll read it and then we have career money and again you could have a job not have a job i'll pick up the energies for you that's you just got to sit back and relax and watch it okay uh in the future i may pull from some other decks may uh, this is a book not a deck but i may pull from some other decks here's some oracle cards things like that uh, to sort of just branch it out maybe in the future focus maybe on one of these as a whole topic of a video but now i'm just finding my groove when december comes around that's when i'll start having them all at the beginning of the month but right now this is sort of just the rest of november because it's already the 13th but happy friday to all you out there and i hope that today is going uh, pretty good for you guys all right so let's get started uh dear spirit Please connect me to the Sagittarius energy. Please connect me to the collective of Sagittarius going on right now. Please bring me truth, love, and light. So let's take a look, and we'll start with your energy, okay, Sagittarius? So we'll take a look at what maybe you're experiencing currently or what you're going to experience in the next uh, maybe 16, 17 days. I don't know how many days are in November. At least 20. So let's take a look. All right, Spirit, what is going on with Sagittarius' energy the rest of November 2020? What is going on with Sagittarius in their energy? So we have, if I can get this card off the deck, we have the Two of Cups, okay? Two of Cups talks about partnership, talks about balance, talks about harmony, okay? Now it's water energy. Now obviously you guys are fire signs, but when this, ca when this card comes out in energy, it talks about an equal give and take, okay? Now this Hermit Crab, when we start looking at the intuitive messages in the card itself, the hermit crab is a type of animal that con I think it only changes homes, its shell, uh, a couple times, okay? So energetically, you guys are sort of trying to find out where it is you belong, okay? We have this energy of who do I belong with? Where do I belong? What kind of job can I be doing? Where can I apply myself? Where Where is the balance in my life? So you guys are trying to energetically find some kind of balance, okay, between your emotional world, your career, your personal life, your health. You're trying to find an element of balance and trying to strike up almost a bargain within yourself to sort of partner with yourself in order to find out what it is that you really want to be doing and how you want to be doing it, okay? Now, you could have other people in your life to sort of help you out with this energy coming in but you guys are very focused right now on maybe matters of the heart whether or not it's an external okay a partner love things like that or just trying to balance yourself out trying to nurture your friendships your family life but trying to find out a sense of belonging in whatever way that really means for you okay but again it's a general reading right so take which um take which scenario resonates the most okay and, and you'll know but it's the sense of belonging that's true so let's keep going. What else is going on with Sagittarius' energy? Rest of November 2020. What's going on with these guys? Spirit. Okay, card came out. We have the Sun card, so it's beautiful. Okay, especially after the Two of Cups. This is the Enlightenment. This is finding what it is that you want. This is um, this is the 19th card in the our Major Arcana. 19 is really, I like that number. Uh, my birthday is the 19th. Um, and it's a very, it's, it's like a number about like, it's, it's a very powerful angel number about like light workers and assistance and also letting go that nine number, right? So the sun, you can see this lemur sort of just relaxing in nature and, and, and seemingly finding some kind of Zen or enlightenment here, right? So you guys getting into this energy of lightheartedness and having fun. I think Sagittarius, you guys are really coming into this energy of playfulness and fun and youthfulness again, okay? This is having fun with people, enjoying life a little bit more and trying to live a little bit more present in the now moment. Okay, so this is if you're not already sort of trying to, uh, or you're not already sort of feeling this way, you guys are going to start getting into this energy of, of just lighthearted goodness of having fun again, acting like a child, being childlike and stop worrying about the future. Okay, because that's why he's so peaceful. He's just relaxing, chilling out. Maybe he smoked a doobie, whatever it is, your personal preference of relaxation. Maybe you took a bath. You don't have to do drugs to enjoy life. But whatever it is that you guys are doing to enjoy life, I feel like there's some lighthearted energy going around for Sagittarius, which is good, okay? So let's get one more card for the energy for November, Sagittarius. What else do we have, Spirit? And we have Six of Swords. Perfect, perfect. 
perfect because the Six of Swords is all about moving on from negative situations. So you can be like this little flying squirrel, leaping past these swords, leaping past these obstacles, going with the flow, right? You have this river down here, going with the momentum of things and, you know, passing passing on, passing things, passing uh, the past and moving forward with wisdom and understanding these trees to me always represent wisdom. Okay? I have a very strong bond with trees. I love them. Not sexually. I've never put my penis in a tree, um, but I do love them. I have a strong bond. And using that wisdom of the tree to, to using your own wisdom, of course, metaphorically here, right? To, to move in and move past negativity, right? So moving into positivity, moving past negativity, and just sort of leaping somewhere new, leaping into a beautiful new direction. And that's where you guys are headed. And that's why you start feeling this this nice energy, this lightheartedness, this balance, this, this searching, this longing for things, feeling a little more balanced in your relationships, this energy coming in, very positive with the two of cups and the sun. And then your mental energy is also shifting. So your heart space is getting lighter. Your mental energy is getting lighter. Your spiritual energy is getting lighter. And that's going to trickle down into your physical space as well. Okay, guys, that's perfect for energy. I think Sagittarius, you guys are got some good energy going on. That's really beautiful to see. Let's take a look at your love life. All right, let's see how this trickles down into your love life. So what's going on with Sagittarius' love life right now? <clears throat> so two cards came out right away. I'm going to read them in the order that I saw them. We have the Five of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. So what this means with the Five of Swords is walking away from things that don't serve you. So you guys may have been broken up with. You may have had to break up with people. You certainly might just have had a lot of defeat and conflicts within your love life, just things never really working out. I think a lot of you guys have decided to take some time on your own, to take some time to do some self-work, to take some time to, again, enjoy some of the fruits of your own label, to work on some self-care, right? You have this llama who's been sheathed, you know, of all this sort of excess fur. So someone has been working very hard in this llama. So either you've been working very hard on yourself, uh, you know, your own emotional world, you've been working hard, you put in a lot of work into your love life. And for a lot of you singles out there, especially, it's kind of deciding to just walk away from things, walk away from what has caused you pain. I think this is a porcupine, right? Porcupines have that sharp, prickly kind of edge uh, to them, right? So, but they have a soft underbelly, right? So you, it's sort of, you're, you're sensitive, you're soft on the inside, but there's just this, your, your love life has been a little bit prickly, a little bit, you know, you're not really certain of it. And so you, you haven't really been able to find that kind of person. So you walk away, you're walking away from situations um, and, and focusing in, into more stability here within yourself, okay? Just sort of taking care of yourself and, and taking care of your own, your own energy and, and really trying to find somebody that's putting in the work to finding somebody that's a little bit more like you. And you're doing that by doing some, some serious self-care, okay? Like actually making yourself look more beautiful, things like that, uh, male or female, right? Uh, and, and then for those of you in a relationship, it's conflicts ending within the relationship and, and finding some striking up a, a sort of balance within striking up a uh, more of a, a harmonious, stable relationship. So if things have been fighting, conflict, mental struggles, that's being a little bit grounded now and sort of moving away from that because you guys would have decided to either put things in the past and forgive each other and let bygones be bygones. And, and then others of you, um, it, it's, you know, again, trying to find uh, or the relationship moving away from any sort of negativity and, and moving into some, some real stability, okay? Well, let's get one more card here for Love Life for a Sagittarius. Round this reading off with one more card. We have the Queen of Pentacles, so we go from the page of the Queen. So this is more self-worth energy. Queen, okay, so that's all about the independent woman. So this is strong single energy here. I think most of you Sagittarius who are going to be watching this are going to be single um, because the Queen of Pentacles is a very independent female figure. However, if you are in a relationship, it, it, it's just... It's just the relationship becoming more focused, like you finding yourself more in the relationship, okay? It's more about you becoming, a, kind of glowing up a little bit, you vibrating at a higher level, you focusing on yourself more than the relationship. And maybe your partner nurtures that, which is great if they do, but it's, it's, a, it's more of a little bit of a focus on you, a focus on your groundedness, a focus on your career, your money, but your self-worth and what that means. So sometimes having stability and influences our self-worth. Other times it's physical care, exercise, diet, uh, yoga, things we care about. Other times it's what we put our energy into, the what we love, friendships, passions, creativity, things like that, okay? But strong single energy, Sagittariuses are really working on themselves after like kind of some shitty love experiences and, and just putting themselves first and not really 
we're not really willing to um, just putting a little bit more into yourself, really committing to yourself rather than a, a particular person. OK, and that's just the general energy. OK, some of you could be, of course, committing yourselves a little bit more to love. But I, I think it's largely self-love. So whether or not you're in a relationship or not, I see a strong energy of putting more care into the self, okay? which translates into others noticing you and, and stronger bonds, of course, as well. The more you love yourself, the more the world loves you because the world is just a reflection of you. Life is a reflection of you, right? Because technically, the world doesn't give a shit whether you had a bad day or not, but you do. So if you have a great day, if you're happy, life is happy with you, okay? It's a reflection. So let's take a work at your career and your finances so lastly spirit what's going on with sagittarius's career and their money let's take a look november 2020 we have two cards that came out so this is pretty good guys i'm going to read it in the order that i saw we have more pentacle energy so you guys are very grounded this month uh page of um, knight of pentacles okay so the knight of pentacles you have the page up there knight is solid work solid offers okay so if you guys don't have a job we have real solidarity coming in for you we have somebody possibly an earth sign coming in um but but having the qualities of that earth sign energy which is someone having a reliable job offer for you okay now if you already have a job it's promotion because after we have the eight of wands so things picking up strong strong energy of finding work finding better work solid work if you've been stuck in a career or a job where it's been unstable you don't really like it you maybe you're transitioning out of it you're looking for a new offer the eight of wands comes in here with this fast motion right you have this horse charging so horses are of course naturally very very fast but they charge forward often right i mean you've seen them and movies and film and stuff just like the slightest sort of uh, sh sharp or unforeseen surprising motion they just charge they dart offwards right they go in incredibly fast speed so you have this kind of like mustang like energy where you charging forward in your life with all just like all the speed and momentum you possibly can so for a lot of you you guys are either getting a promotion getting some kind of raise um, getting you know or even maybe even just being noticed more and that gives you the momentum to go forward but for others of you in a large percentage i do feel it's going to be like some kind of either new job or a job coming in to really just pick up the pace of your life and allow things to move as they're supposed to okay having some energy and momentum some passion back for your work let's get one last card to round off the career and money for sagittarius november 2023 see what we can get here. <clears throat> a lot of pentacle energy. Okay, let's see what card was. Came flying out, didn't it? And we have the Empress. Okay, so yeah, having a career that's nurtured. Again, more self-care energy. This is the mother-like figure. So feminine energy is all about giving, nurturing, right? Masculine energy is more about receiving, um, the taking, right? So, um, this empress energy allows you guys to feel more self-worth in your job and it allows your finances to grow so this is talking about your financial situation growing becoming larger and expanding okay so this means finding the right opportunities if it's a job right allowing yourself to have more comfort allowing yourself to grow i don't see some huge windfall of cash okay there'd be a couple cards that would come out that would indicate that this is more having opportunities to make more money in a nice gradual way, especially with that Knight of Pentacles. See, for a lot of you, it isn't necessarily just getting money. Um, it's, it's more of getting the work to do things, to have more money. So it's about somebody really noticing you and maybe even just you noticing yourself and determining your worth and being able to give. So you're giving more time to yourself. You're giving more time to your finances and your finances are going to be growing because the Empress has that kind of pregnant energy to it. And so this sort of uh, bull or... I guess it's a cow, but I thought I thought females were um, they didn't have the horns, but I, you know the fuck do I know? I guess, uh, but it is the empress is a female figure, so this is this this cow. Let's just say for whatever reason, because it's a female. Let's just say this cow. Okay, Bertha here. Let's say Bertha. She's enjoying herself in the field. She's relaxing. She's in this nature. She's grounded. She is surrounded by the energy of nature. The, the surrounded by the energy of life itself. Okay, so that's what your career is taking on. You're taking on, you're taking on a groundedness, taking on a nurturing role within your job. So again, this heavy promotional energy, and certainly for a lot of you, it's it, it's sort of taking on 
taking on the role as like almost like a mother at work. So maybe being a team leader of some kind and nurturing others in the workplace. Okay. And maybe even yourself being nurtured as well. Okay, guys. So that's the Sagittarius reading again in the future. I might pull from some different decks, might do some little shake up stuff, but for now, this is kind of the, just the general uh, gist of it. Uh, otherwise guys, any sort of personal services that I offer, that's always in the description box. I usually don't mention that, um, but it's there. And if you guys always want to make yourself available to it, otherwise I am going to sign off and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. All right, guys, see you next time. Bye-bye.